Thanks for staying with us. Now, we all want to see our children be the best they can be, but there's often conflicting advice on how to raise a child who is confident, kind, and successful. This week, we celebrated Children's Day and, as always, showered them with so much prayers. Whilst it's great to pray and hope for the best for our children, we are, are we really raising them? for today's world? That's the question. Tiwala Desherion, aka TS, is a deeply passionate counselor, um, counseling psychologist, self-actualization coach, and recovery facilitator. She is a faith-based professional providing empowerment and capacity for those in the health ministry. She's currently a doctoral researcher in guidance and counseling. Tiwa has over a decade of experience as a mental health practitioner, trainer, facilitator, and researcher. She is the originator, lead facilitator, and co-host of the Life Purpose Clinic, a self-discovery and self-actualization program targeted at helping individuals engage their uniqueness product, um, productively. Now, remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Plus TV Africa or at Ways Show Africa One with the hashtag Ways, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 8038463. Thank you so much for joining us, Tio Alade. <laughs> You're welcome. It's an honor to have you on the show. Oh, oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. Yes. All right, so we'll just jump into the conversation. The topic is raising today's child. Um, so I, I was just, um, before coming on the show, I was watching an interview on TV, and someone was talking about, I mean, their stories and their success stories, I mean, how they suffered, how they used to trek and all of that. I just thought to myself, hmm, wait a minute. If I were to relate a story to a child today and the child would be able to resonate with that kind of stories, I don't think these kind of stories would make sense anymore. So how prepared are we, you know, when it comes to the children of today and are we ready to, to raise a generation, I mean, for the future? Hmm. That's, um, that's an interesting one, <laughs> because if you say we, um, I have to consider, you know, who exactly you're referring to. Yeah. Um, talking about bringing uh, a child in today's world, you know, um, we must be aware of um, important factors, okay? Um, yeah, each each era, you know, each era has some um, peculiarities, you know, that that shape that era, and even the example you cited, you know, has um, uh, you know, you, the examples you cited has uh, uh, the same, you know, application today. We still have some children that are that you know that are uh, self starters, you know, that don't have the privileged background of. Uh, uh, parental affluence or, you know, uh, prosperity, you know. So we still have that, really. But um, if we're talking about raising um, today's child, you know, let's just um, come to uh, an average place, you know, talking about the, the, the common person or the average person today. Uh, we have... Um, Let's let's look at the. Should I use the middle class? Because I'm sorry, as a I'm, I'm trained or as a professional, I just can like throw the net out there. I have to be talking to a specific uh, specific, a specific um, yeah. poster or group or you know because there's no one size fits all. You I'm know, sorry. but if you're just looking at let's say the middle class in general, we're looking at the Nigerian society, or we're looking at. Um, you know, what it takes educationally, you know, to raise a child or what it takes culturally or socially to raise a child today. Uh, there are several, I'm already listing the factors involved, you know, but the important thing is to be aware of what you're dealing with, you know, what environment are we, is that child situated in, you know, uh, what are the challenges that are before the child, um, what are the um projections, what does the parent want for the child? You know, these are important things to consider. Uh, some parents are ready, some parents are not ready, some parents are not even aware, you know, and all some 
believe is that the schools will take care, you know, as long as I send my child to school, I mean, let's use that, you know, as our baseline. Something that if we just send our children to school, they'll be fine. And I'm, I'm, I'm talking across all um, uh, econo uh, social economic status, you know, um, Everybody, most people believe that once I send my child to school, he's able to get what he or she needs, you know, to make it in life. But we know that that's not what is happening, you know, and that is not what obtains. Because uh, to to survive, for a child to survive, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm finding it, you know, because when I talk about children, we have... Okay, I think, like, like, can, I, <coughs> can I just come in there? Mm-hmm. So I, I would like to ask you what your thoughts are. Um, so I'm a mother of two daughters. Um, I'm a millennial. And I often look back to how I was raised. And I question sometimes if um, the way I was raised is applicable in the times that we're in. And the reason is we're living in a different world to my mind. Maybe that's because there's a lot of information out there. So you hear so many things. and you almost want to um, just protect your child. So look at what's happening in America, that depraved police officer. And I'm thinking, you know what, I just have to make sure that my child is safe. That's just how I am as a mother, right? Where do I draw the balance between being a, a normal parent or, and over parenting, which is actually a thing, which is basically you, you, you smother the child so much that you're almost not letting them become the individuals they're supposed to be. How do, how do I strike that balance? Okay, so now, okay, I get it. So let me talk about raising a child with a secure identity. You know, that's, uh, I think that's quite um, Direct, straight to the point. Yeah. Fantastic. Raise a child with a secure identity, right? Fine, yes. Because, um, yes, because in today's world, children need to know who they are. In fact, all, all over time, all through time, people need to know who they are. So how much more now where we have um, a barrage of influences, you know, we have so many, at every turn, people have things that are calling for their attention, you know. So if you want a child, you know, to go in a particular direction, you know, as a person of faith, and the Bible says to train a child the way it should go, and it won't depart from, from, from it. The same goes for if you don't train a child the way you should go, he would definitely not depart from that way you didn't teach him, you know, to go in. You know, so the important thing to raise a child with a secure identity, because uh, when, when a human being knows who he is or who she is, he's able to take a stand for himself or herself. And that is what we need today. And it's because we have children in different age groups you know, of different age, age groups. We have um, the preschoolers, we have the elementary that we also call primary, you know, in um, Nigeria. And then, of course, we have, you know, the adolescents, okay? So yeah. we're talking between 0 to 18. You want your children to be able to hold up their heads anywhere they are in society. You want them to be able to make the right choices. And that starts with knowing who they are, you know. And on that uh, premise, I'm going to talk about, you know, the different parenting styles that we have because children are products of influence, you know. Children are products of influence. We have different um, um, parenting styles, and that also determines the kind of uh, children that we churn out, you know, the type of individuals or personalities that we churn out, you know. Some parents are um, very authoritarian, and that's the, my way or the highway, you know. Uh, the children have no say. Um, they make all the decisions, you know. Uh, we have this a lot in the African, you know, backgrounds, you know, and societies. And then we also have the permissive. That is, they, uh, they are so indulgent, and they let the children have what they want to have. They have no say, and that is to an extreme. And, of course, the healthy one, the healthy parental style, is the authoritative, where a parent is firm, but at the same time is considerate. It puts in, um, into consideration um, factors that will make the child also happy and whole. You know, So children basically... And three things from parents that in turn they also you know uh, project to the uh, to the greater society you know and the, the number one is fear if you're too authoritarian you're too strict you know children and fear 
That is when, when they hear you're coming, they're like, they're afraid. Now we're talking about, you know, how children are going to stand in society. We're talking about the values, you know, how they're going to be able to have secure identities. Of course, all these things have implications for how a child eventually carries himself, you know, in public or when he's alone. You know, so a child can end fear. You know, if you're too strict, if you're too firm, if you're too hard, if you're the one that makes all the decisions now, the child doesn't know what to do. And the child so, can end trust. Let, let me interrupt I, you there sure. so you don't go too far. I, I like that you said this parenting styles and um, you talk about secure identity. So I'm thinking that those styles help you um, shape your child's identity, right? Yeah. So how, how do I know, right, what um, parenting style is best? Or is this, um, is this based on the child's personality as well? I've also heard sometimes that, you know, obviously children are individuals. So you have three children, totally different personalities. Am I supposed to then wear different hats for each child so that I'm getting the best out of them? And isn't this a lot of work for a parent? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no if, if you listen to what I was saying, I said there are different styles, but the best, you it's know, the most effective, yes. the healthy, the, the authority, authority, where the parents protective. then control, but really? it takes into factors, considerate, it, it takes into factors, you know, um, considerations that make for a whole child. That also involves seeing the child as an individual. You can be an authoritative parent, you know, um, and be have different uh, ways of relating with three different kids. I'm just talking about the style. Right. The fact that you are the one in control, you are the one guiding, but then you take each child as an individual. Do you understand? Okay, so... You don't make all the rules for each child. Okay. You know, you take into consideration what their individuality also calls for. Okay, so Tiwa, I, I would like to come in here because... Um, this age, when I, when I asked the question the first time, um, where I was leading to is we have an age where children are born into a very fast, hyper-connected world where it is everything that they want, it's at their fingertips, right? You know, so the, uh, I mean, they're, they're growing up on smartphones, on computers, on so many things. And they are being um, groomed by parents that, some parents that have no clue as to how these things function, right? So how do, uh, how do we navigate um, a child? Because right now, I would say that our children know so much more than we know in terms of accessing so many things because that is their world. You know, I mean, a child... Uh, when we start to share stories of box TV, how the TV would, I mean, channels would open at 4 p.m., they don't understand those stories. They don't know it, you know. I mean, it's strange to them. So how do we still instill those morals, grow, I mean, groom them to become, you know, the best that their individuality deserves, you know, at the same time not lose, you know, the, the, the authoritative or whatever style of parenting that we want to do? You know, that's a very good one, you know, because um, you can't, you can't say my, my, this world is too, too, too fast paced for me and then let your children, that would be getting tended towards a permissive. And that's what a lot of parents don't know. They don't believe that, oh, I don't know what they're doing, you know, that's all too hot tech and too high tech for me, you know, so I just leave them to it. That is, you know, bending towards being permissive because now there are influences your child is having his way and their influences you know nothing about. Yeah. You know, so and I think when it comes to working with gadgets or um, in, uh, the influences of um, information tech, you know, we also have a lot of um, monitoring um, tools. I think a lot of um, platforms now have like parental controls, you know. All you have to do maybe is like to sign them on on your... If you can have that, if you have access to that, that means you also have access to parental controls. A lot of these um, uh, platforms, if it's a tablet or even, even if it's a game um, platform, they usually have parental controls, you know. But the problem is that a lot of our parents of today don't want to go do that work. You have to do that work. You can't expect the magic is, it, there's no magic that's going to help you bring up your child, you know. So what is important? Excuse me. 
So and what is important, you know, is that you are aware. You are the one that bought, because children, we're talking about children now, except they do it behind your back, which is where I was going with what children earn. Children can either earn your fear, your trust, or your respect. But you need them to earn your respect. That means where we have rules and relationships, you're listening to them, you're involved in their lives. But if you're too authoritative, they will be afraid of you. If you're too permissive, they will trust you, they will play with you and all that, but they won't respect you. So you want to have a relationship where you have rules, but relationship, relationship is very key. You get into their world, you get to know them. And when we're talking about the middle, the, the middle um, section, you know, like I said, we have the preschoolers, elementary, and then the adolescent. The elementary period is very important. When, it, when the preschooler, they're de totally dependent on the parents. But the, the elementary period, that is where the relationship is built. You know, that's where they, they want to talk to you. But a lot of people miss that. And that's when they go do your homework. Uh, you have your toy, go and play with it. They miss that period to, you know, to influence their children, to bond with their children. Because by the time they're adolescents, by the time they're becoming teenagers, the greatest influence in their lives, I tell you, are their peers. Mm. Those are the people they want to influence. They love you, but they want to be like. Mm. <laughs> you know, and it's intentional as the way God made it. That's the way we're, we're, we're designed psychologically so that we can become individual beings. They have to cut up from the parents to start forming their own identity and projecting that. So that elementary period is very important. You can't leave your children to, to whatever is out there. You must know what they're watching. You must make up the time. If you're not going to be able to sit and watch, know what they're watching, then don't give them those games. Don't give them access to, you know, those uh, platforms. <laughs> okay, so Tima, well, we are going to, <laughs> we have to go on a break. But you see, this thing you are talking about, uh, what's it called? Um, what's it called? Controls and, and tablet, making sure you put all those controls. I've seen children that can hack it. You think you have put uh, some limits and control. The child has already broken through those codes and they, they can, because they are but so you smart. You alert on your phone. Ah, you okay. Oh. <laughs> so we'll go on a short break. <laughs> My <professor laughs> we'll stay with us. Then Abim Bola Shomolu will join us. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 